In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the normal approximation to the Poisson distribution. But before we get into that, let us start with finding the expectation and variance for the Poisson variable. Now you need to know that if x follows a Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda, the expectation of x is lambda and the variance of x is also lambda. So that's something very important for you to know. Now when lambda is large, say lambda is greater than 15, the normal distribution can be used as an approximation to the Poisson distribution where x follows a normal distribution of mean lambda and variance lambda. Now since we are using a continuous distribution as an approximation to a discrete one, a continuity correction is needed. So we want to look at a couple of examples as I demonstrate to you how we can use the normal approximation to the Poisson distribution. Here's the first question. It says a random variable has the distribution Poisson of mean 31. Name an appropriate approximating distribution and state the mean and standard deviation of this approximating distribution. Okay, so in this case, we are considering that this is a Poisson distribution and the mean is large. That's the mean 31 is greater than 15. And so we can rightfully say we can use the normal approximation. And the question also says that we should state the mean and standard deviation of this approximating distribution. So we know that the mean of the approximating distribution will be 31. And we know that the variance will also be 31. So for the standard deviation, it is the square root of variance. So standard deviation would therefore be the square root of 31, which is 5.57 to 3SF. So that's how we answer this question here. Let's look at another one. It says, Calls arrive at a help desk randomly and at a constant average rate of 1.4 calls per hour. Calculate the probability that there will be, number one, more than three calls in two and a half hours, and number two, fewer than a thousand calls in four weeks, which is 672 hours. Okay, so let's start with part number one. All right, originally, We've been told that the average rate of calls per hour is 1.4. So therefore, for two and a half hours, we'll be having the average rate lambda to be two and a half times 1.4, which is 3.5. So therefore, we can say that X follows a Poisson distribution of mean 3.5. And that is for a two and a half hour interval. So for more than three calls, we're saying that that's the probability that X is greater than three, which is as good as one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to three. And that's the same as one minus the probability that X is equal to zero plus probability that X is equal to one plus probability that X is equal to two plus the probability that X is equal to three. And that's one minus e to the minus 3.5, factoring it out. And inside the bracket, we'll be having 1 for the probability that x equal to 0, 3.5 for the probability that x equal to 1, 3.5 squared over 2 squared for the probability that x equal to 2, and 3.5 cubed over 3 factorial for the probability that x equal to 3. And this will simplify to 0 0.463. And that's the answer to part number one. Let's look at part number two. It says calculate the probability that there will be fewer than a thousand calls in four weeks, which is six, seven, two hours. So here again, there's an interval change. Originally, we had an average rate of 1.4 calls 
per hour, which means for 6, 7 to 2 hours, the average rate lambda will now be 672 times 1.4, which is 940.8. So we are saying here the random variable y follows a Poisson distribution of mean 940.8. Now the value 940.8 is greater than 15. So we can actually use a normal approximation. And that will be y follows a normal distribution of mean 940.8 and variance 940.8. Now here we want to calculate the probability that there will be fewer than a thousand calls in 672 hours. That's the probability that y is less than 1000. So we can standardize this introducing the standard variable z. So that's probably that z is less than 999.5 which is technically a thousand with the continuity correction of minus 0 0.5 and it's minus 940.8 and that's all over the square root of 940.8. Now this simplifies to the probability that z is less than 1.914 which means we'll need to go to the tables for phi of 1.914. That's 1.9 under 1, which is 0 0.9719. And here under 4, we get 2. So we add 0 0.0002 here to get 0 0.9721. So the final answer here to 3SF will be 0 0.972. And that's how we do it.